Morning, Father. Tashkuru kabisa Naam July 2023, I, Archbishop Kivuva Martin Musonde, I visit this parish for three reasons. One is the feast day of their parish, St. James, one of the apostles. And two, we also going to have Kipaimara. Tutakuwa na vijana wa Kipaimara. Kama wangapi padri. Njo, njo, njo. Padri mwenye ndiye huyu mwenye mji huu, anaitwa Moses, Moses Makame. Amekuwa hapa sasa huyu mwanake wake wa pili wa pili na katika miaka ya pili amezindua mashule leo tutaenda kutembelea shule moja inaitwa Vikwatani St Ignatius tulibariki of course this general area is um, kind of middle class we need uh, many facilities for supporting our young people especially education so we celebrate the feast of St. James by first blessing um, the school, St. Uh, St. Ignatius. The school I blessed the foundations last year, last year. So it's ready, one time today. So we are grateful for this experience. Number two, as we also celebrate our faith today, we are also praying for the country. The country, Kenya, has gone through very interesting moments. We had beautiful celeb uh, campaigns and uh, elections and uh, 2022 in August we elected our new president. He was later on uh, installed or rather uh, given the ranks to rule and but in the last few weeks now we've had very many challenges around what we are going through all over the world high cost of living uh, food issues the government hasn't quite settled nine months down the line because now the opposition also has called what are we calling the public demos against the government for reasons of uh, a finance act that was passed recently that they say it is punitive and truly of course you see it's very difficult for everyone petrol has gone up so everything goes up so as we pray today we also want to pray for the whole world the world where there are wars conflicts of every nature we celebrate also today the pope reminds us to pray and celebrate our waze old our old may our old people within our community. Many of them are grandfathers or great-grandfathers. And we, he wants to remind us that we never forget the young and the old. The old are within us, so we are going to celebrate all these things. So my dear uh, friends watching me, I'm grateful. Today I'm also accompanied by a friend of mine who visited me, call him, 
uh, called Emmanuel Gonzalez. Emmanuel Gonzalez is an Opus Day, and uh, being an Opus Day, we've been friends for many years. But more than that, uh, he, they are here for a meeting, for um, resting, for ongoing. So I want you to meet Emmanuel Gonzalez. Hi, my good friend. How are you? Fine, 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 Very well. We are on air. We are on wow. air now. Wow, you can say about yourself <laughs> and tell yeah. us what, uh, what brings you here. Well, I have been working in Kenya for 17 years and was a magnificent years of my life and my priesthood. I have celebrated this year 40 years of priesthood and now have been 20 years back in Spain. I can only say that coming back to Africa is to see the hope, hope of the church because you have here the most powerful thing that the world needs, that are people. What do you like thing, about... Um... Uh, what do you like about Africa? What is well, this hope? Well, you see, the hope is are always, you know, people come here as tourists to see animals and to see uh, many different things, but they don't realize that the real power is the people. So to have people that they are the future of the church. Many times in, in Europe, what we are experiencing is that the populations are growing older and older, and therefore they have no they have no future because even other countries and other people are coming to, to, to get into the so that's why to take care of the people so that they develop, so that they get more things, so that they get, for example, what you are doing here in Africa, they still, all the thing of education is, is so important. So mm -hmm. important. Sorry, that I was doing something. And so it's so important that I feel that we need to, to, to take care because any investment that you do in a person is an investment that will last and we don't know up to where because this person will have children and he will have a family and the children will have children and this is something that will last up to the end of time so but when you make an investment and it's a proper investment that is really worthwhile mm -hmm. so up with africa because we are going in the right direction today we are celebrating also the feast of the, the parish st james yeah we are going to have 170 wow. for confirmation wow. You as a parish priest, how many have you been able to prepare in Europe yeah. for confirmation any moment? You know, what the difference is that when I see all these children, I said, wow, I have in my parish, and there are two parishes together, and we have a, a scarcely uh, 15, 20 children for, for confirmation. Why? Mm -hmm. In the one hand, because there are fewer children, and then also because the secularization have made that little by little people have stopped going for mass, and they say, well, it doesn't matter, and then after going for mass, they don't take the children for baptism and then the children don't get first Holy communion and then the children so therefore the development of the faith is not there and so when I see all this I see the hope of the church because you see the, the, the fact that they are being confirmed that means that the Holy Spirit is going to be upon their souls they will have their failures they will have their problems and their obstacles in life but the Holy Spirit is already with them and that is a big big advantage over those who do not have it yet thank you Please. Most welcome to Kenya hey. and also to my dad, Mombasa. Martin, you have I worked here in this general area. This was my first, Fine. one of the first outstation from Kong, uh, our lady of Fatima was the main parish. But then, years after, I was here about close to 11 years, then this was the first outstation. Wow. And from here, we have spread out yeah. there are about eight parishes around us. There is Shanzu, which for the first, uh, 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 Holy Family, there's St. Francis, there is uh, now, of course, we brought here. So it's gone, it's grown, it's grown, and we're very happy. That means so, that this is a life. This, this is a life. A life, a life. <laughs> well, thank God. So, my dear friends, let us celebrate the day today. It's a Sunday. And especially for our old people, the Pope reminds us we want to pray for you. Now, we are very so they are very specialized in education and formation of the faith. So God bless us. God bless the work of our hands. Asanteni, thank you, Luanga Communication, a good young man. You're doing a great job. Tell the world what is going on in our place. Asante. Thank you.
So that's how are you? Very well, you're very smart. Very smart. Let's go. Let's go. Nem csináltam pagapán, és hirtelen nem levitatom. Cu n-ați spus pe gări? Mi-a zis cu o mogea, cu o gheță, sa? Maiki! Ne-am gândit de eu camera ta, ne-am gândit, sa? Cheque. Oi. Até ninguém aí. Até ninguém aqui. Nossa, nossa, nossa.